In this demonstration, we'll be showing how to display pictures based on queries. In this particular example, I've used the AdventureWorks database, which has a table that contains pictures of the various products. If I double click this cell here, a lookup will appear showing all the product numbers that are available. And if I select a product, you'll notice that the picture is updated and also the description. This is the example that we'll be working on. We'll start by creating a new workbook. And then from the menu, we're going to select Query Manager. This is the query that's going to retrieve the photo from the database. On the workbook, right click and select New Query and Detailed. And this will bring us into the Query Builder window. From the products, select AdventureWorks and then from the table lookup, select Production Product. This contains a list of all the details about a particular product. And if I create a filter on the product number, you can see that this is the lookup it, that appeared before. I'm just going to select a particular product just to start the demonstration. And if we have a look down in the selection list, you can see that there are some folders related to photographs of the particular product. And if I open that up, you can see that there is a thumbnail and also a large photo. I'm going to output the photograph and do a preview. You can see that a photograph of, of a bicycle has appeared. In this particular example, we'd like to be able to enter the product number and have the photograph change depending on what we've entered. So I'm going to replace this product number with a cell reference to the spreadsheet. I'll go to the spreadsheet now and type in the product number as a label and I'll enter into the cell just to start things off the product code that we just queried on. And then over the cell I'll put a name range and I'll call it filter product number. Now I'll I'll adjust the filter on product number so that it points to the name range that we've created on the worksheet. I'll double click and you can see that the name range has now been picked up and I'll just set the to and from values to be the same product number. And if I preview the results again you can see that the same product has appeared. I'll finish this query and we come back to the Query Manager and a new query has appeared in the list. What I'll do is I'll rename this query to make it something more understandable and I'll call it Product Photo. Now that I've created the C query for the photograph, I can close Query Manager and insert a object on the worksheet to post the photograph. I can do this by going into Insert and selecting a rectangular shape and placing that on the worksheet. The next step is to give the shape a 
user-friendly name. And so we'll go up and rename the shape to product pick. The next step is to enter a special formula that will tie the query and the picture object together. I'll place this formula just above the picture. I've already prepared it on the clipboard, so I'll just enter that in and explain what it's doing. You can see that the, the formula name is called MD set shape picture, and the first parameter is the name of the query that we prepared earlier in Query Manager. The second parameter is the name of the object that we just created, which is in this case product pick. And the final parameter is the filter criteria that's going to drive the query. In this case, we created a name range called filter product number, which is pointing to cell A4. Now that we've done this, we can press enter, and you can see that it's retrieved the, the photograph from the database and displayed it inside the picture. If we then go over to cell A4 and double click on it, you can see that it's worked out that there's a lookup associated with the picture and it's displayed the lookup. And we can then scroll down and choose a different product. The final step is to display a description of the product number that we have in cell A4. And we'll do this by creating a reference formula just above the picture. From the menu, I'll select Value Formula. By default, Value Formula will show aggregations mode. We want to change this to Reference. The product will be AdventureWorks, and the table will be the same table as we started from previously. Product. And from the list of fields, we'd like to display the name of the particular product number that we've selected. And we'll place a filter on product number and this product number will be derived from our name range in cell A4 and we'll press finish. You can see that the values have already been extracted from the database and are appearing above the photo. We'll just change the product number again to something else to men's sports shorts L and you can see that both the photo and the description have changed. That concludes using photographs in Excel.